Like every other kind of integration that you've seen so far, the line integral has an additive property. If I have a path C that is itself piecewise smooth, that is, each part of it is continuous and differentiable, um, except for maybe at the points where two segments end, and that curve is made from a finite number of other smooth curves, C1, C2, and Cn, that are only joined end to end, so they don't overlap anywhere but the endpoints. Then the integral of F ds over C is equal to the sum of the um, line integrals over each individual path. So, so I have a problem here where we're asked to find the path integral of x plus root y ds over C, where C is two different paths here. And so this path is actually a parabolic path, y equals x squared, and then a linear path here, y equals x. So it's a path that's actually a closed path, right? It goes from the origin up to 1, 1 and back to the origin. And so the first thing I need to do is think about the paths C1 and C2. And our path C does equal what I would say is the union of those. And what's very important is that the intersection are only the endpoints where the paths are joined. They don't overlap anywhere other than where they're joined at 1, 1 and 0, 0. All right, so the path C1 is a parabolic path. I need a parameterization for it. I'm going to call that R1. Well, that's t comma t squared, and clearly when t is between 0 and 1. The path C2, and I'll, I'll call its parameterization R2 of t, well, let's see, it's along the path y equals x. So I could actually be very lazy here and just say t comma t, and then my interval would be from one back to zero, right? But I wanna be a little more clever than that. I'm gonna say one minus t comma one minus t, and let my parameter interval be from zero to one again. So from zero to one gets me here, and then on the next path, zero to one gets me here. And we could be clever and make this parameter interval be from one to two if you prefer, right? Playing around with um, my linear equations there, what I'm really doing is finding a line between two points, and in this one it was simple enough I could just make it up, but we certainly know how to find parametric equations for a line. So instead of integrating this path integral, I'm going to integrate over this path and then over this path, and in the end we'll have to add those two values together. So to start off, we'll evaluate a path integral. over C1, where C1 was my parabolic path. All right, so nothing really different here. I just need to find a velocity function, the speed, and then do some substitution. All right, so I have my speed function, and I'm ready to rewrite this in terms of the variable t. All right, so x plus root y. Well, let's see, that's going to be t plus, well, t. Um, absolute value of t, but I know t is positive, or at least bigger than 0, times the square root of 1 plus 4t squared. All right, so the integral from zero to one of two t square root of one plus four t squared dt. So you could be one plus four t squared, making du eight t dt. Taking advantage of my substitution, my bounds become one and five. I have a 2t on here very briefly, a u to the 1 half, and then du would come over an 8t. So I end up with a 2 eighths of 1 fourth to write out front, a u to the 1 half du. So let's see, that's going to be a 3 halves in the exponent, making that 2 thirds times 1 fourth. I get a 1 sixth u to the 3 halves. Evaluated from 1 to 5. 
Plugging in a five, I would get a square root of 125, or five square roots of five minus one, all times one sixth. So, I have found my line integral over the first path, so I need to hold on to that number because in a little while I'll add something else to it. But now, we need to remember that we need to now integrate over the next part, right over this path. So now I find the line integral over the second part of the path. Speed function here is a little nicer. All right, and so now I rewrite my path integral. I have a integral from zero to one again. I didn't write down my parameter interval, but it was from zero to one. I have to plug in x for x and y for y. All right, so I have a root two I can bring out front. One minus t plus root one minus t dt. All right, so the square root of two times, let's see, t minus one half t squared. And now I need to integrate the square root of one minus t, which you could do a substitution, but what you'll find is that you get two thirds, one minus t to the three halves, evaluated from zero to one. So out front, we have a root two, and now I need to plug in a one and a zero. Plugging in a one, I get a one minus one third, minus, and plugging in a zero, I get minus two thirds. So plus two thirds here on the end. Oh, that was a one half. Couldn't read my own handwriting there. Oh well, we're just gonna leave that in there. All right, so one minus one half plus two thirds. Root two is one half, excuse me, root two times one half plus two over three. And we end up with seven square roots of two all over six. All right, so now, that I have integrated over both paths, I know the path integral I was actually asked to find. Is the sum of those two quantities. All right, and there is our final answer.